Hello there, my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Right, everyone, we have a rare alignment taking place on May the 25th. This is where the planet Jupiter enters the sign of Gemini. The reason why it's rare is because it happens once every 12 years. Now, this is going to be a one year cycle. It's going to start May the 25th and end on June the 9th of 2025. This is a unique blend of energies, everyone. This is where we can expand and grow in our lives through curiosity, exploration, but also communication. This is where spirit is asking us this evening one year to really look at both sides of a situation. This is duality through Gemini, right? The twins looking at everything through different lenses. You're going to see a lot of things happening on social media, in the news, like information coming in. So it's going to feel like a lot of information download over the next year. It's all about us deciding what the truth is for us through our own perspective, but also through uh, doing our own research. Okay. Um, it's a really great time for us to explore opportunities around our passions and our desires because I'm telling you, this is the year, this is that one year cycle we can, where we can really see a lot of um, expansion and growth in our lives through knowledge, information that we can acquire in order to enhance our lives, enhance our uh, intellect as well, just gaining information, right? So what does this mean for your sign? We're going to find that out. What I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with an oracle card from the Guardian Angel Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck and then an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs, through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Pisces, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this lucky alignment. All right, so we are getting for you motivation. Look at that, you're being blessed with motivation. I'm gonna read you the message of this card. Deep within your essence lies a potent driving force, an inner fire that burns with creative uh, creation and achievement. You possess the ability to harness energy and concentrate on your goals and dream. So I'm going to read this to you one more time. Deep within your essence lies a potent driving force, an inner fire that burns with creation and achievement. You possess the ability to harness energy and concentrate on your goals and your dreams. So they're giving you motivation here. Now, for me, motivation comes through music a lot of the time. Anytime I want to feel motivated, I will put on some music and it motivates me. So um, they're really wanting you to implement uh, practices in your life around motivation, Pisces, okay? So we are getting the hangman. Look at that. This is where you're flipped outside down and you're being uh, asked to look through a different perspective, a new way of seeing the world or a situation. This is going to be profound for you, Pisces, because whatever this information that's coming in from this angle in your life is going to open you up to a new path, okay? A new way of experiencing the world. So the hangman. Now, this is a major arcana card, so this energy is going to be prominent. It's in the background though. So some of you are going to feel this intensely, others are going to feel this subtly. All right. We have the star card. So this is faith. This is the energy aligned to Jupiter. This is where spirit wants you to have faith and believe that your dreams and desires are going to come to fruition. And this is why perhaps you have to look through a different perspective, mindset to see 
that you are actually in alignment to your dreams, your wishes and your desire. So there's some sort of um, manifestation that is taking place, taking form in your life with this. Okay. So the star card, I also want you to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the star card and the six of swords, lots of peace, tranquility here, things coming to a calm. There's a sense of understanding and knowing here. And this is what's happening for you Pisces there is this energy that is really grounding you here with this card so the six of swords for you oh my goodness so these this is so beautiful there's like an opening happening but there's also expansion and growth but in a very calm way here now before I begin I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience these cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives this is also a general reading for you today Pisces so those of you that are watching if my reading isn't resonating for you please leave it behind Look at this, something's happened in your life that has really put you in a space or energy where things feel a little flopped over. And what I'm getting here is um, something that was either communicated or um, I do feel it has to do with communication, whether you are having a conversation with someone or watching something. And this um, incoming energy of information, this could be intuitive as well, a dream even is what they're saying. But whatever this information is, it's sparking something in your mind and really um, it's it's you're really wanting to dive deep and kind of look at it a little more and through different perspectives, seeing all sides of the story here with whatever this is in your life, Pisces. And maybe you need to actually look at all sides and all perspectives here in order to get a better understanding of what it is that you are going through. Um, maybe this has to do with a relationship to understand someone a little bit better. You have to dig deeper, ask more questions, right? This is the expansion that is going to happen in your life through communication, Pisces. And I feel communication here is going to be very potent for you, very um, beneficial for you. So if you're able to speak up and um, get the answers that you are seeking, um, speak up and, and be heard. This is what I'm getting here. And, and maybe this is an uncomfortable place for you to be because maybe you have not spoken up before in your life, um, maybe around a certain person, an individual in a, a certain setting, work environment, circumstance, right? So What's happening ultimately here is through your actions with that communication, you are opening yourself up to this whole new experience in your life. And through this, you're going to see changes uh, actually taking place. You're going to see a shift happening just through your voice, just the way that you're able to uh, express your energy, your essence, your thoughts, your, your wants, your needs here, Pisces, okay? Um, and it does feel sometimes like we're hung upside down because when we have, um, it's not that we have, what they're trying to say is sometimes people aren't on the same page and that's okay. The uncomfort comes when people don't understand what it is that we're trying to um, say, what we're trying to communicate. There's almost like this um, disconnect there. So some of you might be dealing with somebody in your life where maybe they're not understanding where you're coming from. Maybe your views have changed. Um, your perspective has changed here. So many ways that this can come in and I'm getting, I'm getting in the energy of Gemini popping in here for you where there's like almost like this flipping and flopping. I've been getting this for a lot of the signs and I don't know why this is coming in, but it, it feels like there's something here but there's also something here and you're looking at both um duality this has to do with polarity this has to do with equals um whatever this is for you this is what i'm getting here so i do feel maybe there was a disagreement a dispute between two people a connection uh, maybe there's a dispute in a belief, maybe there's a dispute or something in your mind that maybe you were struggling with or battling with um, to kind of understand more on a deeper level. Maybe this has to do with social media, the news or something that you're getting information through the online. There's a lot of information coming in for you Pisces or this could be something through 
what someone shared to you, you shared to them. So a conversation, a communication, an exchanging of energy that is flipping you over the other way here. So however this is showing up for you, you're going to have to share this with me, Pisces, to get me to understand what it is exactly that is happening in your life with this card. And I do feel that this is shifting things for you in a very big way. Okay, so the hangman card here for you. Now we have the star card as well. So um, this can be challenging for some of us. So I do feel some of you might be finding it very challenging to kind of navigate your way through whatever this experience is for you. But Spirit is saying, have faith. Believe that things are going to work for you. I do feel things are working for you regardless here, Pisces. Um, but there's something else that is taking shape. And this is why this is happening in order for this to come through. So it feels like um, things are being shaken up for you. Like there's a truth maybe that was revealed and you're shaken up by it. Um, and the dust needs to settle in order to understand things and gain clarity. Maybe you need some time to heal through this, whatever this is. And I'm seeing you letting go of something, um, kind of walking away from something here and moving forward. And I do feel that some of you have been dreaming about doing this. You've been thinking about this has been on your mind for a very long time. And because now something was revealed, there's some new information that you have to work with. You're able to make a decision and um, really trust that things are going to work out for you now that this information or whatever this is has come into your life. Okay, so sometimes this can be a blessing in disguise for us, right? Uh, where that feeling of com uncomfort is only for a moment, but ultimately through that bigger picture, it's meant for you. So I do feel that you trust and believe everything that is happening in your life is meant to be. There's a higher purpose for that. You're learning something and you're moving on from it. I don't feel like... For some of you, this might not be a negative experience, right? This might be something that feels uncomfortable because perhaps you thought one way and now this is kind of forcing you to think another. Um, and it's not even forcing. It's almost like, oh, how come I didn't know this before? Like, why am I getting this information now? And trying to understanding, putting the pieces together almost and moving in this new way or direction where it's like, oh, and things are starting to clear. Maybe there's something that you needed to know a long time ago, Pisces, that is now coming to light. Um, this definitely has to do with expansion of information. So information that you are expanding on knowledge, you are gaining to expand more understanding of something, okay? And again, um, what's happening here is through this experience, it's putting you in alignment with like this has to do with your destiny, okay? So they're saying there's a connection here happening to your destiny through this. So it's almost like um, it feels like a plot twist in someone's story. This is what I'm getting. Like you're watching something and it almost feels like a thriller movie is what I'm getting here. Like something happens unexpectedly that shifts everything. Um, that is what I'm picking up with this card. Now, some... So you are aligned to your destiny, to your desires. You're going through this experience here with the hangman, but there's something else going on in the background as well. There is a manifestation taking shape. Those of you that have been praying for something to come through, this is now coming through for you. And perhaps that's what has initiated uh, a lot of the shifts in your life, right? Is this manifestation that is coming into formation. So there's something that you're meant to learn through this experience. You're meant to grow from. And uh, there's this leveling up of energy coming in as well. So pay attention to your dreams um, because I do feel there's some sort of information coming in through your dreams. Um, maybe even like a child coming up and talking to you about something. I feel there's someone that is trying to converse with you, communicate or exchange energy with you because there's some information they're trying to give you. And it might not make sense. Um, this could come through a person. Perhaps there's like an animal around you that's been showing up every single day. And it's because spirit or the universe is trying to relay a message to you and communicate with you. Um, and that's why it keeps showing up over and over. And maybe things are showing up in twos for you. Okay, or things are coming up in pairs. These are signs. These are omens. These are confirmations for you around something that you're trying to manifest here. Um, Pisces. 
And they're saying that some of you are meant to be a star. So I don't know what the star energy is for you, but you're linked to a star in the sky. And now this star is there. There's, I feel we are all linked to stars in the sky. That's my own personal opinion. But I feel this is different. They're, like there's stardom here. There is you in the public eye. This is you, um, you in other people's eyes. Like I'm seeing you in someone's eyeball. Like they're, they're the reflection of you or they're, you, you know, when you look at someone, you can see in their eye. Like I'm seeing someone's eye looking at you. So this could be online. This could be maybe someone thinks you're a star or they admire you for your work. But I'm seeing a lot of... Um, people kind of admiring your work giving you some compliments and this is leading you somewhere these are little um easter eggs for you that are showing up in a way and some of these might be hidden okay some of these uh eyes on you might be hidden because they might be online is what i'm getting here or there's someone that may have a secret crush on you as well pisces i don't know this is so um mixed up energy here where it's it's not that it's mixed up it's coming from all different sources you're, you're gonna have to uh, help me understand what this is in your life especially if you're experiencing this um guidance angels jesus uh religious figures here coming in and whether this is through dreams or you actually connecting and speaking to them through meditation through prayer through something that is like a nightly ritual i'm getting this as well so there's uh, expansion happening here with this as well. I'm also getting um, some of you meditating and then uh, you're, you're, you're going into lucid dreaming here, but also astral projecting. So there's some sort of sacred practices some of you are implementing that are really heightening or expanding your spiritual experience. Oh my gosh, that star card. I could just keep going with that one. And there's this sense of peace and calm coming into your life, this sense of peace and calm that you're cultivating because this was really intense. This was an intense energy, but it's all going to calm down. This is where the dust settles. This is where everything kind of falls to place on the ground, settles down, sinks in. And then there's this understanding, this clarity that shows up in a clear, narrow path for you to follow through um this connection so there is a connection happening here this is your intuition this is you connecting to your higher self to source to angels however it shows up for you and whatever once was is no longer so you've kind of put it back um on, on the back of your boat here as you're moving forward so there's almost like this understanding this coming to to um like the, a truce or um putting it aside because it doesn't matter anyways, um, kind of energy that is coming in. So you've come to terms with it as well. You are closing the chapter on some of these things and putting those thoughts that, um, you know, aside and moving forward, moving on with your life. And this is actually meant to happen in your life, Pisces, because of this energy of expansion and growth. So I do feel for some of you, there's this... Um, leaving things behind through the hangman card because of something that has come into your something that has shed light somewhere in your life and now there's guidance coming in that's leading the way and i feel it's always been there like this guidance has always been there um this guiding light where you've been following this intuition and it's led you towards the six of swords this place of peace and calm um and maybe this was an experience for some of you where maybe you were one day kind of sitting on the couch watching something. Maybe you're anxious. I'm getting someone that was really anxious. And all of a sudden it went to this extreme, um, which I'm getting here, an extreme through the hangman card. And all of a sudden um, that energy just changed and shifted into this ultimate peace and calm. Um I don't know how else to explain it. This is what they're showing me is someone that was kind of sitting there and all of a sudden the sense of peace and calm took over your body. And maybe you were going through something that was really intense, uh, Pisces, and all of a sudden it shifted. Maybe you saw an angel. Maybe you experienced something that was so prophetic, something that was out of this world. This could have been through astral projection, through meditation even. Um, so there's this connection that is happening to the divine, but there's this ultimate love this unconditional love that is coming through this 
And I feel that some of you are able to tap into this uh, on command. Like I'm getting someone that's able to tap into this energy on command and others that have only experienced this once in their life. And this has really opened you up. This has really um, opened you up to explore and be curious of what this is. Um, to really dive into knowledge, to really understand this more. So there's something spiritual happening here for you, Pisces, and there's this exploration. There's this um, wanting to know, wanting to understand, wanting to get more answers. So really be mindful that you don't get caught up in the rabbit hole of some of these things. So this is another energy that comes in with the sign of Gemini, right? Where sometimes the information can be so juicy that there's so many different kinds of information that you start to get... Uh, fall into this um, pit of information and you can get confused here so just be mindful of the information that you are consuming uh, especially if you're trying to gain knowledge around something um, but what's that whatever ha whatever is happening here um, you're starting to move um, in a more spiritual realm this is what I'm getting here with this uh, reading with this uh, card spread for you and you're being motivated uh, or you're just motivated because of this experience. This is what I'm getting, okay? So what I'm going to do for you today is also pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. I'm, and those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. It comes with an oracle message and a protection message. So anything more that Spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card. So we are getting Dove Spirit, be peace. So this is linking with the Six of Swords for you, but also the Star card. Look at that. I don't know if any of you have seen a dove anywhere in your life, a white bird. This is your confirmation, even feathers, okay? The number 21 is on this card. Perhaps this is a number of significance for you. Some of you might be born on the 21st. Perhaps you're 21 years old as you're watching this reading. 21 days, 21st of the month is what I'm getting around the message of this card. Also 21 hours. Be peace. They're wanting you to cultivate peace in your life. Pisces. All right, let's pull the interpretation and read that to you. So we are getting here, Oracle message. With her peaceful cooing, the gentle dove invites you to embrace the energy of peace and allow compassion to warm your heart. You always have the power to generate peace within you and the appearance of dove spirit is a reminder that today and every day is a good day to meditate, to quiet any turbulence within as you embody tranquility. Above, below, and all around you, you may be happening to, you mu much may be happening to distract you, which is coming in through the hangman card, okay? So, um, but you are called to engage with it with the heart of a peacemaker, asking yourself, what would peace do? Can you agree or disagree? The peace you seek rises within and spreads out into the world as spirit sends her messenger to remind you of the beauty of a harmonious existence with all that is. How beautiful and powerful is your compassionate heart, Pisces? Now, the protection message is, however distributed the waters are around you, however troubled your heart is, Dove Spirit is there to remind you that peace without that peace without begins within as you reconnect with spirit through practices that awaken you from a spiritual amnesia. So look at this. Some of you might be coming out of spiritual amnesia with the hangman. Okay, so your true nature is a peaceful child of spirit, but how easily you forget, Pisces. You're being invited to sit in the cozy, safe nest of spirit. Soon the waters will become still and you will find peace again. Be compassionate with yourself at this time, for all of us can forget that peace is always at hand, always there, gifted to us by spirit. Become the peace you wish to see in the world and so you can reduce any suffering, performing acts of kindness and radiating love. So you're wanting to come from the heart center here uh, is what spirit is asking. So divine spirit also reminds you that when you see in inequity, inequity, inequity or someone harmed or in need, trust that you have the capacity to bring peace through smiling, sending love, speaking a kind word and listening with a compassionate heart. Do your part to be a peacemaker, nourishing compassion, reminding others of the joy of harmonious coexistence so that they may embrace the dove spirit within themselves too. So look at that. 
I love this for you. So let's pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So I'm going to pull the top card from that to a pile that fell. So look at this. You're tapping into your higher mind, everyone. I love this for you. Now, if you're seeing the number 15, 15, this is your confirmation today. Ones and fives, one plus five equals six. We have the six of swords here for you. So double sixes. That's that twin duality polarity of Gemini energy, everyone. So 15 days, 15 months, sorry, 15 days, 15 weeks, and 15th of the month around the message of this card. It's all about mind over matter here, Pisces. Your thoughts have power. Remember, you are a powerful manifester. You create the change you want to see in your life, okay? It's all about tapping into that higher mind, that higher self. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.